All right, before this video starts, I want to talk to you guys about a crazy campaign Huawei are running just for you guys. To access this campaign, first of all, you guys need to switch to the app gallery in Italy or the Netherlands, and you can do this no matter where you are geographically. You can easily switch to any of these two countries and enjoy the benefits. So then you need to install World of Tanks Blitz from the app gallery. To do this, you need an Android phone or an emulator. Then, of course, link your account to Google slash Facebook and then download app gallery in the comment section below pinned download HMS core from the app gallery and create an account in the app gallery and then set your country to Italy or the Netherlands as I said below I mean previously and re-download the game from app gallery very very easy to do and the campaign itself is also great you get 55 percent coupon so you just get one of those however you get one four and a half euro coupon and one eight and a half euro coupon every single day in the payment page you guys can see an option called coupon then you can select the coupon and get a discount immediately Furthermore, you also get 10% Huawei points back. Huawei points are a virtual currency sold and managed by Huawei. Huawei can use uh, Huawei points can be used to purchase a virtual offerings and value added services in Huawei apps. So one Huawei point is pretty much one euro or your local currency. So if you pay 100 euros with PayPal, then you can get 10 Huawei points back. Then you can use these Huawei points to buy other in-game packages or items. In the payment page, there is one payment method called Huawei points, and you can use that to do in-game purchases. So enjoy. Hello everyone, it's Happy, and today we're going to be talking about the E100 uh, armor buff in update 9.1. So as you can see here, we're going to be jumping straight into it. In update 9.0, this is what the E100 looked like from a standard, more or less, 300 millimeter gun. So as you can see, the, um, the upper parts of the turret, at least the front part of the turret, didn't look so great. As you can see, it's super duper gray. However, after Afterwards, this is what the armor on the turret is going to look like, especially for the high-end penetration tanks. And this is great because I think now the E100 is going to play completely differently. And the uh, the uh, the gun nerf, which was very, very slim, I think really does make sense. And now the VK-72 and the E100 finally are a little bit different from each other and the E100 is a little bit more viable for those who are looking for armor as well. So as you can see here, even if you turn the E100 now, that's it. The armor is going to be super duper red and penetrating the turret, especially on a wiggling E100, is going to be a lot, lot harder. Now, the E100 a long time has been deserving this buff, sorry, for a long time, simply because the armor on the turret has been so weak that even mediums with gold could just smash right through it. And now, if you're going to wiggle your turret a little bit, a lot of AP shells from TDs and some tanks with gold shells will no longer be able to penetrate your turret. Now, this doesn't mean that the E100's turret is going to be completely invincible. However, this does mean that the turret is going to hold a little bit more shots. And therefore, you have a chance to live longer. And if you live longer, you contribute more to the team. And therefore, you do more damage, etc, etc. Your win rate goes up, your damage goes up, etc, etc. So, I think this is a great trade-off. And I really do think that the E100 does deserve this compared to some of the other armor nerfs and buffs. This is probably the most deserving and Wargaming should have done this a long time ago because the community has asked for it. However, there are a lot of things which Wargaming have done which the community has never asked for. But uh, again, this is not the video to talk about those. Here we're talking about the E100 specifically. Now, this buff overall means that you can be more aggressive in the E100, be a little bit more... Um, you know, playing a little bit more rough, a little bit more extreme on the front lines by being a little bit more pushy with a big gun, more armor and more HP. This tank will now be a little bit more armored than a lot of other things around it. It's going to have more firepower and it's going to have more HP, making it one of the most scary tanks, especially in the hands of a newer player, because newer players don't really need that much skill to operate this tank. And therefore, this is really going to be a scary tank. And I really hope that the community actually uh, really enjoys this tank from now on. So tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section below. And with that, happy is out. And I'll see you guys next time.
Bye-bye.